Today we're going to do another DIY engine maintenance on Blue Moon. Um, last time we took the boat out we noticed that our anti-siphon vented loop was leaking from the top. Um, it actually took us a bit of research to actually figure out what the mechanism was and we'll show you that in a minute. But basically we are hoping it's just gummed up and the valve just isn't quite working properly and worst case scenario we may have to replace it so we're gonna first try and clean it up. The anti-siphon vented loop is a brass hose loop at the high point of the raw water cooling system and it's a very simple mechanism as far as we can tell. As water is pumped up the hose before it gets to the high point positive pressure from the pump keeps a little flapper valve closed and then as water tips over the highest point and starts flowing down the positive pressure goes away the flapper valve opens and it sucks air in with the water so that you don't get a siphon effect if the valve is not functioning properly and water siphons when the engine is turned off it can be siphoned back into the exhaust system and then eventually back into the engine and into the pistons which would be very bad it would destroy your engine it would yeah it would it would wreck the engine our vented loop is in the galley underneath the sink and that is what it looks like. This is the cap that we're going to try and remove and then in here is the valve. This is the in here so water is pumped up through in here and down this way and this is where the valve lets air in to stop any siphoning action once the engine is turned off. It's super nice because this is really accessible compared to most of the engine work we do. Um, so we're going to try and keep it all attached and to start we're actually just going to see if we can get this cap off. I don't know how tightly it's on there. So we'll have to see. Um, yeah, we might have to use some pipe wrenches or something. I tried blowing some air through the top hole and it did kind of seem to be going through, which is good. Because is the valve supposed to be open? The air valve is supposed to be open when the engine shut off, right? Or closed. It would be open a bowl. Open a bowl, yeah. It, but when there's no pump pressure, it, 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 there wouldn't be anything holding it in or out. Oh, right, 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 okay. The pump pressure holds it closed, and then once the water goes over the high point, it creates a suction. Oh, okay, I see. And then that's what allows air in. Right, gotcha. We got them out. So this is the lid that we got off, or the cap I guess, and then we managed to just blow this little piece off. This is the valve, and we're looking for wear and tear. Um, we don't really see that much though, so it doesn't really solve the question of why the water was coming out, like why the water is seeping out. There's a chance it was seeping out from the hoses, where the hose clamps attach. But when we looked at it, it seemed like it was coming out of this part right here, out of this hole. So, not totally sure. So this is like super simple system that seals the edges and then it's a flapper valve. It just flaps open like this. And that's what lets the air in. Yeah. We think maybe it just got a little bit sticky. The mechanism seems to be functioning just fine. It's very simple, thankfully. You can see like kind of some corrosion. Not, I wouldn't call it corrosion, it's just like gunk. Um, and we're thinking that means that it was maybe sticking a bit and not fully flapping open and therefore causing water to spill out. Okay. Also, since there's a little bit of corrosion in here, we're going to try and clean this up as well. And for brass, we looked it up. It is about one part vinegar to two parts water. Um, we have double strength, so we're going to do one part vinegar to four parts water. I think my chemistry is old. Okay. Your fractions. My fractions. Oh yeah, I guess it's not chemistry. It feels like chemistry. So now we're just going to go on a walk and enjoy our day. We're going to let these sit for a while and then hopefully when we come back we can give them a final kind of scrub. Put them back in. And put it back together. Test it.
Well, we went on our walk. We got some cider from a little cider stand. And now we're heading back. I think the parts have hopefully been soaking for long enough. We'll check them, give them a little scrub, and then probably make lunch and then finish it up. We've been thinking about it and talking about it, and our theory is that the little flap, there is just enough kind of like gunk on it to make it stick and not open super easily. And then we were able to kind of loosen it up. And so I think once we give it a clean, hopefully the, it'll be fixed. Hopefully that was the only issue. So fingers crossed for that, but that's our, our going theory at the moment. And uh, yeah, I'm just looking forward to an evening on the boat. You can definitely tell it's fall, but we've had a really beautiful sunny weekend so far. And yeah, it's been, it's been really nice. Okay, so this has been sitting in that vinegar solution only for a couple hours and it is amazing how much cleaner it is. Wow, I'm amazed. I think really the most important part is making sure that it gets that seal, so kind of this area here. I'm shocked, this works so well. Give her a rinse. The main part with this one is that is what seals, so we don't wanna hurt that at all. But we also wanna make sure that it's clean. This is just like really soft bristled scrub brush, I guess. So we just push that back in. And then, yeah, in theory, we'll screw this back on, the cap on, and hopefully that will solve our problem. We're gonna start up the engine. We should be able to tell pretty fast whether it's gonna continue leaking the way it was. I don't see anything. The engine has been running for like 15, 20 minutes, which just feels like a good amount of time. I feel like it's, yeah, water's moving through. We've been checking the, um, the loop periodically and there's no water that we can see. So that's huge because previously we could actually see water coming down. Um, it feels dry, it looks great. So now Jonas is gonna keep an eye on the loop and I'm gonna shut off the engine and we're just gonna make sure that everything is normal. How is it? Nothing has happened. It's not leaking like it was before. So hopefully that's a product of the mild cleaning we gave it. We are gonna keep an eye on it, obviously and we've got a trip coming up, so we'll just keep an eye on it. We do have that spare, which can be used if needed, um, but yeah, we checked it, and I think this is just gonna be part of our regular maintenance. Feels super good to get that done. We've known about that problem since we went out sailing last, and by the time we got parts and did some research, and um, it just feels good to get that checked off the list. I mean, we're gonna be moving back to the docks in just a few weeks here now, which, is crazy but now all of these problems seem to emerge um, usually right before a big trip so it feels good to get that checked off the list and we can kind of keep focusing on getting things ready and enjoying our last last little while off grid before we go back to the docks for the winter now that our project's done uh, we can actually enjoy the evening the engine started up perfect which is amazing we've had issues with the engine before but yeah i think we're looking good in terms of maintenance for actually yeah, making our kind of biannual trip back to the docks. So I'm looking forward to that. I think we're going to go for a walk. We just got the engine back on the dinghy. It gets a little tough to row against the wind and the wind is... Holy big wake. Oh, big wake. Um, anyways, so we... Yeah, it feels really good to get that done. We're just putting the engine back on the dinghy, filling up our gas. And yeah, I think we're going to go back to shore, do another walk.
then have a relaxing evening on the boat. This is the time of year where the, fo the phosphorescents are incredible. I love them so much. I can never actually capture them on camera, but I'm excited for the e this evening because I'm hoping they're out in full force and we can kind of play around with them because I just think they're the most beautiful thing ever. There you are. Will she start, first of all? Not quite the first ball. We got it. Sometimes she just needs a little love, that's all. <sighs> Windy day. Yeah, it really picked up this evening, which is like not normal. But... Appalachian sunrise meets my skin. Even with my eyes still closed. We're having a very simple dinner tonight, including um, these like Eve's veggie dogs. I can't imagine they're very good for you, but they are a guilty pleasure. They're just so good. Um, so we're, yeah, we're just cooking up some sourdough, some veggie dogs, and some fried onions, and yeah, we had a salad. Keeping it nice and simple. Plate number one. Delish. It's so fast. Sometimes the act of moving something from one place to another feels like cleaning, you know? Yeah, and then you find out you just put everything in one pile. Come so far. Here you go, Gina. The best. She's talking so sweet to me. Gina, have you thought this through? Have you considered the ramifications of what you're doing? Yeah, I mean, I named this guy Hitchcock. Reveal themselves until too late. Even a small, seemingly insignificant decision can change the course.
Our boom has been banging back and forth for the last couple nights and I keep forgetting to fix it. So I'm finally gonna tie it up. We just tie from the end of the boom down to one of our stanchions and then yeah, it just kind of keeps it from flopping back and forth because what happens is when the boat rocks in the waves or the swell, it goes back and forth like this. And that's the noise we hear all night, which is fine, um, but it can wake me up. So I'm just gonna tie it a little tighter and then that should fix it. We just keep forgetting to do it because it's not one of those things that is urgent enough to do in the middle of the night, um, but then in the morning you kind of forget about it. I always think they're okay though because 